popular old theory that space is soundless due to the fact that most of space operates like a vacuum. But this is an old theory that has proven to not be true many times over. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and here are your top 10 unsettling space sounds the government didn't want you to hear. In our number 10 spot, we have the Mars quake. Picked up by NASA's InSight, the robot on Mars, on April 6, 2019. In this specific recording, three sounds can be heard. The first two are suspected to be wind on Mars and a Mars version of an earthquake, and then there's sound from the robot at the end. This is wild to hear and definitely makes you wonder how often the Mars quakes happen. Hopefully not too often because if we plan on moving to Mars someday, all the high maintenance humans will not be okay with that. Okay, fine, myself included. Okay, on a serious note, the sound is pretty intense. Have a listen. In our number nine spot, we have a Saturn thunderstorm. Apparently ever since the Voyager flew past Saturn, scientists have taken note of potential lightning deep within Saturn. The sound that is captured here, to me, it sounds like the intense bubbling of water in a pot or perhaps the crazy static in between radio frequencies. It's hard to imagine a world like Saturn that may have such intense lightning storms. Imagine Saturn is a world where it always rains. And if so, then I have to say that Saturn is probably where hell is. It is believed that the word Saturn is related to Satan, so it works. Take a listen to hear these staticky crackles that are believed to be sounds from a lightning storm. In our number eight spot, we have Saturn's radio emissions. Another recording from Saturn and where this one came from is super interesting. In December 2016, NASA's Cassini spacecraft crossed the plains of Saturn and took a number of recordings of the planet. This one in particular literally sounds like the opening to the English dubbed 90s version of Sailor Moon, my fave version of Sailor Moon. Even though that is an unpopular opinion, it's how I got introduced to the show, okay? So it'll always hold a special place in my heart. Anyways, the sound is creepy and it is the sound of the radio emissions leaving Saturn. Take a listen. In our number seven spot, we have Jupiter's bow shock. This is a sound that was recorded by the Voyager spacecraft as it was passing through the region of Jupiter. It is said that the sun emits a type of solar wind, which can be repelled by a strong magnetic force such as that of a planet. It is deflected and the energy is apparently converted into thermal energy. This is known as a bow shock and what you are about to hear is the sound of a bow shock. The sound reminds me of what I can imagine as an instant catastrophic tornado. Have a listen and let me know if you agree in the comment section below. In our number six spot, we have Jupiter's moon. Jupiter's moon, also known as Ganymede, apparently makes some pretty strange sounds and I'm pumped to share it with you all. NASA's Galileo spacecraft robot studied Jupiter and its surrounding area and it picked up on some plasma wave observations and this confirmed that the moon has its own magnetosphere. These sounds are quite spooky and remind me of the sounds that you can imagine some alien communication device to make, it feels straight out of a movie. Because maybe it is. Psych, this isn't real and no one actually ever went to the moon. Dun, 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 just joking. These are the spooky sounds that Galileo picked up. In our number five spot, we have the Earth's Whisper. I'm sorry, Melissa, did you just say the Earth's Whisper? You're going to show us the sound of the Earth talking very quietly? Yes, in a matter of speaking. Literally, somebody save me from myself. Okay, so NASA recorded the Earth making some pretty crazy noises, and apparently the noise was coming from charged particles emanating from the Earth. It honestly sounds like birds calling to each other on a hot summer day, or what I imagine the rainforest to sound like, but anyway, Anyways, it's pretty cool to listen to, so take a listen. In our number 
fourth spot, we have Callisto. Callisto is another Jupiter moon that we've recorded some audio of. This recording sounds an awful lot like Callisto is filled with C-3PO's from Star Wars, as that's the only way I can describe this sound. It's very, you know, robotic. And at the same time, it sounds like it's heavily burning something, but I'm not sure if that's just the recording device or part of the sound. Apparently, Callisto has the weakest interaction with Jupiter's magnetosphere of any of the four largest moons. Take a listen and let us know your thoughts. We have the sounds of Jupiter. The sounds of Jupiter are intense. It sounds like crystals dropping mixed with the sound that you hear in movies when things are going back in time. It could also seem like small mice making these sounds too. It's pretty extraordinary and quite different from a lot of these other videos. It's interesting how consistent the sound is also. Apparently NASA's Cassini spacecraft captured this sound when stopping by Jupiter for a gravitational boost while on its way to its next destination. Have a listen. Number two spot, we have the sun's vibrations. I couldn't decide if this should be number one or two on the list because it's just as cool as number one. Maybe better, that's debatable. What you're about to hear is actual recorded sound from the sun, whoa. The vibrations in this video may appear to be low, but what's interesting about the vibrations is that they appear to be positive. It feels good to listen to its hum, like it has a warmth to it that will lift up your spirits if you continue to listen, which honestly makes sense. I don't know why, but it does. Anyways, listen to the sounds of the sun and let me know if you feel and understand what I'm talking about. spot we have the black hole. Okay, I had to put this one in first because the concept of the black hole is just mind blowing to me. A black hole is essentially a region of space time where gravity is so strong that nothing, you know, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light can escape from it. People believe that beyond a black hole are other dimensions and universes. It's a thing of fascination for many and so of course when I came across this sound bit I had to include in this video. This is a sound bit that shows the force of a black hole and how terrifying it might be to get close to one. Not that we ever would, unless of course we build a spacecraft in our lifetime that gets us close to it, but unless that happens, the likelihood is slim. Anyways, it sounds like what I imagine ghosts or ghouls sound like when they're moaning. <laughs> Take a listen. for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for good vibes and more content like this. I'm Melissa Malati, your host. Follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Malati and I will see you next time. Have a good day, sir.